Hello everyone, this video is going to show how to use two different types of calculators. We have a TI-30XIIIB and a TI-89 Titanium. I want to use the two calculators to solve an algebraic equation that involves uh, several different steps. So we have this upper layer gas temperature equation, Tg is equal to T infinity plus 6.85 times the quantity, the heat release rate squared divided by the area of an opening, the height of an opening, square root, the effective heat transfer coefficient of the room, and the total internal surface area of the room, that whole quantity raised to the one-third power. Now we have some inputs we can use. Make sure this stays in the screen. We have some inputs we can use. We have heat release rate of 500 kilowatts, effective heat transfer coefficient of 0.025 kilowatts per meter squared Kelvin, Area of the opening is 1.58 meters squared. Total internal surface area is 46 meters squared. Height of the opening would be 2.5 meters. Our ambient temperature is 298 Kelvin. And if we put all those into the equation, it looks like this. So on a TI-89 or similar type of graphing calculator, we can put all this into the calculator at once. And if we're going to use a calculator like this, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. So we have, if we were to solve this directly, we could take 298 plus 6.85 times parentheses. We're going to do 500, oops, not 5, double, 500 squared divided by parentheses because we want to, so we need to put a parentheses otherwise it'll just divide this first one and then multiply that quantity by the rest, order of operations, we're just going to follow it. 1.58 times the square root, second square root of 2.05 times 0 0.025 times 46 close parentheses so that's the parentheses from the bottom of the denominator. Close parentheses, that's the end of the quantity. And then raised to the one parentheses, one divided by three. Right? Because if we don't put a parentheses around the power, it'll raise it to the one power and then divide the quantity by three. So we can hit enter and we get this is equal to 611.7 Kelvin. Alright, so that's solving it on an 89 or a graphing calculator. If we want to use, like what many students have, is a, uh, a non-graphing calculator or a phone or something like that, we, it's a good idea to solve it step by step. So we're going to say, instead of solving it all at once, we will solve it in steps. So we'll have this is equal to 298 plus 6.85 multiplied by, so we're going to do 500 squared, 500 up to, that is 2.5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the 5th divided by, and now we can solve this bottom multiplication. We can do 1.58 times, uh, do I have a square root on this bad boy? Yeah, there it is. Second square root of 2.05 times 0 0.025 times 46. That's equal to 2.6, 2.6, and then that quantity is still raised to the one-third. And so this is equal to 298 plus 6.85 times, so 2, 2.5, where's the, is there a double E? I don't remember. 2.5 times 10 raised to the fifth 
divided by 2.6. That's 96153.8, and that's to the one third power. So then, that's equal to 298 plus 6.85 times 961.53.8 up, raised to the 1 divided by 3 power. This is 45.8. And so that's equal to 298 plus 6.85 times 45.8, which is 313.7. It's important to remember not to add the 298 and the 6.85 together before you do this multiplication. I know it might seem simple, but a lot of students seem to do that because they can add, they know they can add. And then you do 298 plus 313.7, I feel like. So there's our 6.611.7 Kelvin, which is the same answer we got up here. So we can solve this problem using either calculator, but the nice thing about this graphing calculator is that you can see exactly what you did right here. So we can see we have our 298 standing alone plus 6.85 times this quantity. That quantity is our 500 squared times what all this stuff in the denominator all raised to the one third power. Where it's much more difficult to see that on a non-graphing calculator. So I hope you found this useful and have a good day.